Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday, it is Friday so it is weigh in day. We're gonna talk about my week, my weigh in and the WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because I do a weigh in every Friday. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot stress the importance of this enough. It is how I've lost over 137 pounds and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into how my week was, my weigh-in and the WW workshop topic. friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. We are already almost to the end of January. I cannot believe it. This month I feel like has flown by. This has been a really interesting month. Interesting for me in the aspect that this was a month of discovery for me. If you follow my channel, you know that I'm using the month of January to really nail down my food, nail down my workouts, and figure out where am I in my weight loss journey? Am I at maintenance? Do I still have weight that I wanna lose? What are the next steps for me in my journey? So I've been using the month of January to figure that out. I plan on doing a huge update for you guys. It'll come in February though, because like I said, I wanna use the entire month of January to really figure out where I am and what my next steps are, but you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss that video. So again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on. I finished out my cycle this week, which was fantastic, and I was able to get in all of my workouts. I will say that Sunday, I did a leg workout for the first time at the gym, and I was so sore up until Wednesday. So from Sunday to Wednesday, I was so sore, I could barely sit down. My legs hurt, my butt hurt, my calves hurt, my feet hurt, everything hurt from that leg workout. So I know that I really gave it my all, but boy was I sore. And that definitely translated to a weight gain on the scale. Don't be afraid of weight gains and weight fluctuations, especially if you're strength training. It's just natural that your muscles are going to be inflamed and retain water when you work out. I mean, we're talking, I gained three pounds overnight. From Sunday to Monday, I was up three pounds and it took me a big chunk of the week to get that weight off weight, meaning the inflammation and soreness, because not only did I do that leg day on Sunday, I did boot camp all week, I continued to lift weights all week. So the only break I really gave my body was on Tuesday when I didn't lift weights or go to boot camp. So it's just a reminder that if you see the scale go up after weightlifting or strength training, it's totally natural and definitely don't let it get you down and don't let it stop you from strength training. Strength training is essential for maintaining lean muscle while we lose weight and then building lean muscle after weight loss. So I didn't care what the scale said, but I'll let you know how we finished out the week after we chat about this week's workshop topic. And that is how to build a satisfying meal. I have said time and time here on my channel that when I strictly followed Weight Watchers, I was never satisfied. I was hungry all the time. And when I would finish a meal, I didn't feel satisfied. I just wanted more. And that was one of the main reasons I just wasn't able to only follow Weight Watchers anymore. I had to make some changes to make sure that I was eating foods that made me full and satisfied and also eating enough to lose weight in a healthy way. So today we're going to talk about WW or Weight Watchers tips on how to build a satisfying meal. Satisfying can take on a lot of different meanings. We want a meal that's going to be easy to prepare, fits in our points or calorie budget and will keep you full for hours, keep you full between meals. That was the big struggle that I had is like I said, I was never full and satisfied. So there are some things that you can do to really structure a meal to hopefully help eliminate that feeling of not being satisfied and being extra hungry. Decide on how many total points you want to spend on the meal and then choose a food or foods from each category below. Step one, 
Choose filling foods. Pick one or more protein and or fiber rich items as the base of your meal. So for protein, you might pick chicken, eggs, tofu, seafood, beef, beans, lentils, or yogurt. And for fiber filled foods, you can reach for non-starchy vegetables, oatmeal, whole wheat pasta, and brown rice. Step number two is to bulk up your meal. Choose foods loaded in fiber to fill out your plate for few to no points. Non-starchy veggies or fruit like broccoli, mushrooms, or berries. Step number three is to pack in flavor. Use these items in smaller quantities. The only requirement is that they taste good to you. Some of some, some flavor enhancers are things like cheese, heart healthy oils, salad dressing, avocado, nuts, and olives. And step number four is have a wild card. Add whatever else you're in the mood for or whatever helps you finish that meal. Potatoes, corn, bread, or grains, a base for a soup, or a sauce. So now let's talk about how this might actually come together. Like what do these meals look like? So going back to filling, we could do a chicken breast with taco seasoning and fat free refried beans. To bulk that up for zero points, we could add in cooked peppers and onions, shredded lettuce and tomatoes. Now we wanna add in a little bit of flavor. So we add some shredded cheese, avocado and some oil for cooking. That's gonna give us about four points. And our wild card is going to be corn tortilla shells for an additional two points. So this huge packed fiber filled protein filled meal is only going to be six points. This is a great meal. This is volume. This is a lot of food for the points and not all meals are going to look like this. And there's really no one right way to put together a meal, nor do you have to include all of the four categories above, but there are some things that you want to make sure that you're thinking about when building your meals and snacks. The base of your meals and snacks should be built around protein and fiber rich foods. These digest slowly and they keep you fuller for longer. I know when I strictly did Weight Watchers, I did not eat enough protein. I mean, we're talking probably a third of the protein that I eat now. And that could be a big reason why I wasn't full and satisfied. I was relying on 100 calorie packs and two point Weight Watchers bars that have no nutritional value, no protein and no fiber. So no wonder I was hungry all the time. So it's really important to build your meals around protein and fiber and then add in some healthy carbohydrate sources and healthy fats. The biggest key to weight loss is eating less calories than you're burning every day. Being in a calorie deficit, that's the only way to lose weight. But by making sure that your meals are built correctly and around protein and fiber and foods that keep you full, being in a calorie deficit and losing weight isn't going to be as miserable as it is when we are starving and unsatisfied all the time. I wanna share with you three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, we lose weight when we burn more calories than we consume. Number two, filling our meals with protein and fiber helps us stay satisfied and in our budget. And number three, incorporating the foods we love into our eating pattern helps make it one we can stick with for the long term. That's the key right there. Whatever you're doing to lose weight, whatever foods you're eating to lose weight, you have to do those same things and eat those same foods to maintain your weight. So make sure that you're eating enough to lose weight, that you're eating protein and fiber filled foods so you're full and satisfied. And like I said, it makes losing weight suck just a little bit less. So let us know down in the comments, what are your favorite fiber and protein filled food for snacks or meals? Let us know down in the comments because we I love hearing from you guys and you always give me such great ideas and the community can really benefit from all your tips and tricks. You guys already know all my meals and snacks are built around protein, 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 protein. That has been the key to my success and it'll be the key to your success as well. So now let's jump in to my weigh-in for the week. Like I said, my weight shot up about three pounds after that heavy lifting on Sunday. And like I said, it took me the majority of the week to get those three pounds off. So when I stepped on the scale today, I am exactly the same. So I have maintained my weight again. And this is good, good data for me, good information for me. That means that two of the weigh-ins in the month of January I've maintained. That tells me a lot. That tells me a lot about where I am in my weight loss journey, and it just helps me put together those puzzle pieces of where I'm going next. So I'm thrilled with the maintain. I would have even been happy, honestly, if the scale was up a little bit because I know that I killed it in my workouts this week, and that is a priority for me. Lifting weights, building lean muscle is way more important to me than the number on the scale, but I'm relieved that I maintained my weight for the week. So let me know how was your week? What did the scale do for you this week? And of course, don't forget to share your protein packed, fiber packed snacks and meal ideas down below for us. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because again, I do a weigh in every single Friday and I upload five videos 
per week. Check out the description box down below for personalized macros and calories, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And if you haven't, we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. It's free. There's 26,000 members and it's a really valuable resource. So come on over and join us there. Happy Friday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.